Welcome back. You're watching an ITV News special, and we've been on air since 12.15, bringing you the Chancellor's budget. Well, in a moment, uh, we'll be joined by our consumer editor, Chris Choi, who's with families in Birmingham. But first, let's join our business editor, Laura Koonsberg, who's with the ITV Business Club in Wakefield. What's their verdict? Thanks very much indeed, Alistair. Well, during the budget statement, at moments we had, what a waste of time. At other moments we had, that sounds like an excellent idea. So let's find out how it went down. Margaret Wood, this is your factory. You were really concerned to get something into the lower end of the economy. You look pretty pleased. I am. I'm delighted. I think it was a balanced budget, and I'm delighted that, he, uh, that the Chancellor has chosen to take so many people out of the lower end of the tax bracket. I also welcome the, um, the level of corporation tax being reduced. That means that what this government are doing is rewarding success, rewarding people that are working and business that are creating the growth and stimulating the economy um, for the future. OK, now, Kavita, you had a big smile on your face during the um, 50p tax going down next year. Absolutely. I think, you know, uh, decisions have to be based on facts and evidence and we have now have the facts and evidence that the 50% tax rate just didn't work. But if people avoided paying 50p, wouldn't they just do the same kind of things to avoid paying 45p? It actually makes a big difference. That 5% is actually does make a big difference and I think we'll see the evidence for that coming. But do you think there's any point waiting next year or should they just get on with it if it doesn't earn any money? I think it was very difficult for the Chancellor to go from 50 to 40. I think, you know, with everything that's happening in the economy, it needed to be balanced and I think he's done that for a reason. I think it sends out a brilliant message. Britain is open for business. OK, Kavita and Margaret, thanks very much indeed. Two happy customers there, Lord Digby Jones and Clippy McKenna now joining us, also who runs a small business in the North West. Clippy, firstly to you, you were hopeful of help for exports because you're trying to get around the world. What did you pick out? Um, well, uh, what I'd like to say is that I'm really pleased uh, that, the, that he's focused on uh, helping us grow the economy, helping small businesses achieve something that can show to the rest of the world why we're so great. And I think he can do that by actually doing all the things that's happened. But there was a particular suggestion for businesses of less than 77,000. Now, none of you here no. thought that would make much difference, even no. though you're small. No, well, I am small, but 77,000... Turnover, That's, not profit. Yeah, turnover is, I believe, is nothing. Okay. You need to be at, at least half a million, okay. 50 to half a million. Lord Digby, you're a, you're a veteran of watching many budgets. Yes. What did you make of today? In I liked terms? his rhetoric at the end. I did think this call to Britain sorting itself out was excellent. Mm -hmm. I think the 45p, actually, the biggest thing about it is the mood music. You know, there's a big sign up around the world. Yeah. We, we're going to let you and stimulate entrepreneurship. If you mm -hmm. make the money, you risk you can keep. Same with the drop in corporation tax. I'm very disappointed that he hasn't addressed national insurance contributions for employers. It's a job tax, it's not a tax on money. He could have done something for small business in that. I'm very disappointed on that. OK, Lord Debbie Jones, thank you very much indeed. Kevin McKenna, thank you very much indeed. Kavita Oberoi, Margaret Wood, thanks for having us in your factory here in Wakefield. For now, Alistair, back to you in London.